Rainbow Fjord. We were kind of bored. There wasn't much to do. We needed something new. So we packed our stuff. Enough's enough. The world we've got to see. And we found a spot we liked a lot. Called Unicity. Hey, guys. Who are you? We're Dog and Pony. We're new in town, you know. We're Dog and Pony on the Dog and Pony Show. We're Dog and Pony. And this is where we'll stay. Let's me and you try something new every single day. Mega news. Hey, dog, what is that thing? Now, it's called a smartphone pony. Oh, can it brush my luxurious mane? Um, uh, no, no, it's not that smart. But it does take videos. Really? I've heard about videos. I think I'd look fabulous in videos. Can you get my good side? Sure. But which side is your good side? Both of them. It was a trick question. <laughs> okay, show the pearly whites. Oh. Show the pearly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really funny. Oh, so good. Okay, pony, be sassy. Go, girl. Go, girl. Give me the pony, Bray. Do fishy lips. Give me attitude. Own the runway, pony. Go, girl, again. Gallop, Mr. Pony. Gallop. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Ideas! I huh? need ideas! Oh, think, Xanadu Kane. How can we get kids to watch the news? What do kids like? <laughs> <laughs> go, pony! Go, pony! Go, go! Go, go pony! pony. Ooh, wheels are turning. Wheels are turning! Wheels have turned! Excuse me, gentlemen! Or is it gentle beasts? <laughs> I'm Xanadu Kane, News Tycoon. Nice to meet you, Xanadu Kane, News Tycoon. Want to be famous? Famous? Uh, what does that mean? It means everyone will know you and adore you. Ooh, that sounds fabulous. Pass, I like my little life. Doc, wait. Let's hear what she has to say. After all, we came to Unicity to meet new people, try new things, eat more hay. The hay part was just you. Oh, right. Yeah, but you made your point. Hey, what would you like us to do, Ms. New Tycoon? Just make videos of things that kids want to see, like you were just doing. We'll call it Kid News. Now, that sounds interesting. Can I smile to the camera like this? Sure. Now get to work, you two. I want to see some Kid News stories ASAP. Yes, sir, madam, sir. Thank you. And I love attention. I'm late for something. Bye. We've got to find some stories, Pony. Fast. Dog, Bubala, relax. With my charming good looks, our news can't lose. Beep, 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 beep. This is Kid News with Dog and Pony. Report. A person is tying his shoes. Report. Lilybud eats cheese. Slowly. Report! Chloe and Zoe are watching our first episode of Kid News! Ah. They're yawning. Not a good sign. I've seen enough. They're leaving. An even worse sign. Report! I... I have nothing more to report. Uh, take it away, Pony. Oh, um... Have you seen my flamingo impression? <laughs> Well, time's up. This has been Dog and Pony with Kid News. Okay, they get it. Do the music. Wow, talk about a slow news day. Our news stories are missing something. I don't agree. Boys! Yes, Senator Kane News Tycoon? Your news stories are missing something. I agree. Sorry, this is important. Ugh. What can we do that would make our news stories more exciting? Uh, oh, better hair. Better teeth. Magic? No, 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 no. We don't need magic. Come again? Magic. No, Pony. We're not using magic. But, Dog, we don't have any stories. Say, how about you report the news and I make the news? Pony, how does one make news? Hmm. <gasps> See that pigeon? Yes. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. Magic bottom lift, magic bottom shake. Give a little wiggle, and a magic we will make. <laughs> Report. 
One bird goes from smidgen to mega pigeon. Pony, what did you do? You can't just go turning things into mega things. That's not news. That's not news. Now that's news. Ratings are up. Kids are laughing. <laughs> Give me more stories like Mega Pigeon. Too sweet. That's French for now. You were saying, Mona me? Okay, fine, Pony. Your magic worked. A lot. But can we please get back to some real news? You heard what the boss said. She wants more stories like Mega Pigeon. Oh, squirrel, squirrel! Ruff, ruff, ruff. Yes, a squirrel! This just in. Mega Squirrel spotted at Park. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Pony, you... Magic bottom bounce, magic bottom twirl, mix them both together. And behold, Mega Squirrel! Pony, no! Whoopsie daisy. Yeah. Alphonse, your biggest free range lobster, please. <laughs> Okay, giant lobster. It's it's not here. Yeah, what do we do? We report. Beep 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 beep. beep. This is kid news with dog and pony. Breaking news, you listening? As in, Mega Lobster is breaking everything. We go live to Dog, who is standing beside me. He's heading for the streets of Unicity. To the newscopter. We don't have a newscopter. <gasps> to the news pigeon! Really? Really! I hope you know how to drive this oversized pigeon thing. This thing is named Eleanor, and she's very sensitive. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eleanor. Shall we, Eleanor? Please? <laughs> Follow that mega lobster! Below, you can see traffic jams in the Mega Lobster area. One question grips the city. How to stop this giant lobster that I'm in no way responsible for? Maybe you're a little responsible. Pony, we've got to try and steer Mega Lobster away from Unicity. Yes, but how? Uh, let me see. Uh, what, what do Mega Lobsters like? Ah! They like clams and starfish. Really? Yes. Well, I just so happen to have a clam hat for you. What? And a starfish hat for me. That's nice. Wardrobe is everything. Do you think these will work? It's worth a try. Let's go, Eleanor. Whoa. Hey, Mega Lobster. Look. I'm a starfish. Your turn. Do I have to? Don't you want to save Unicity? <sighs> Fine. Hey, Mega Lobster, look. I'm a clam. I'm a clam. I'm a clam, 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 clam. He sees us. It's working. Ah! Let's lead him out of town. I think out of town is this way. We have Lord Mega Lobster, who is not entirely my fault, out of Unicity to the beach. You can lead a lobster to water, but you can't make him swim. Huh. Or maybe you can. It appears a magic bubble bath is scrubbing the magic off of Mega Lobster. <laughs> I've heard of singing in the bathtub, but this is ridiculous. Did you see that, folks at home? Unicity was saved by Pony and Dog. In that order. Well, that's all the mega news from us. This is Dog. And this is Pony saying, keep it unique, Unicity. That was very good. You call that news? 
Maybe? Maybe? Because I sure do. We got our highest ratings ever today. And it's all thanks to you. <gasps> Dog and Pony. <laughs> she likes us. She really likes us. Yes, I do. But I like them even more. Huh? Y y you do? That's right. Kids doing kid news. Where do I get these ideas? Oh, kids, I'll be talking to your parents and I'll see you at the station. <laughs> we are so yesterday's news. Fine by me. Beep, 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 beep. Welcome to Chloe's and Zoe's action packed kid news. And today we're. Chin up, dog. So we lost kid news. But at least we found a new friend. Right, Eleanor? Pass the bird seed. Don't worry. It's only until the magic wears off. Someday. Maybe. <laughs> Let's me and you try something new every single day. Turn, turn, turn. Bring in the heat, bring in the heat, bring in the heat now! What are you doing, Pony? Just warming my hooves on this chilly afternoon. Would your paws like a little warming up? I'm good, but the changes in unicity are fascinating. Good morning, Misty. Why are you poking your scarf? I'm not poking it, Pony. I'm knitting it. Watch. Now, nah, that's a very impressive skill, Misty. Thanks. And there's nothing like a good scarf to keep you warm. Don't I know it. Sorry, dog. No harm done, Pony. <laughs> See you later, Misty. Bye, guys. We never had cold weather back in Rainbow Fjord, dog. How will you keep warm? Happy circles. Show me. Oh, OK. <laughs> Sometimes I playfully bark. <laughs> Any questions? None. <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> Ponies. <gasps> Fantastic! I love the beautiful outfits all the trees have chosen to wear today. Ah! Phew, that was close. You said it. Those leaves almost landed right on top of... Us? I wonder why the trees take off all their clothes just when it's getting cold. I don't know, Pony. Dig us out? That's still got it. Oh, look at this poor little tree, dog. It looks so cold. It's still got a few leaves, Pony. Never mind. We've got to warm them up, dog. Squirrel! Squirrel! <laughs> <clears throat> yes, um, sorry, um, where were we? The tree, the cold, cold tree. <gasps> oh, oh, I have an idea. A magical idea? No. Remember what Misty was doing? Um, okay, Misty, Misty. Ah, knitting a scarf. Exactly. So imagine you and me together knitting a long scarf. And not just a regular long scarf, dog. This is a tree-saving yarn art wonder. Thank you. Thank you. Dog? Pony, you're a genius. And while you were imagining, I went and got us some knitting stuff. How practical. Ready? Set. Knit. <laughs> I think we dropped a stitch. I think we dropped all the stitches. Wow, knitting is not easy. Yeah, we gotta find another way to help this poor cold tree. I know, we can warm up the tree with my scarf. Hey, that could work. And? Oh, and my vest. Yes, let's dress up this tree. There you go, tree. I don't know if you're warm, but you are styling. Yeah, but you know, some of the branches are still bare. We need to get more clothes. 
Hey, we can make more clothes with my magic bottom. Pony, your magic almost never works in Unicity. But, Dog, look at the poor little tree. Think about how cold it is. No fur, no socks, no hot cocoa. And I thought dogs were known for their big hearts. Okay, Pony, fine. Go ahead and use your magic bottom. You won't be sorry, dog. We're gonna help this poor little tree stay warm. Hey! Magic bottom bump, magic bottom boogie. Make this tree as warm as a chocolate chip cookie. Yay! Hey, Pony, I think it's working. Look at the mittens and the fuzzy boots. Yep, soon the tree will be toasty and warm. Hey, Mom, my coat's gone. Mine, too. Hang on to your hat. Whoa. Hey, Pony, do you have any idea where all these clothes are coming from? None. But doesn't that look like Ranger Silas's hat? Oh, yes, it does. Done. Hey! And again, hey! Huh? Huh? What? What's going on? Yeah, at least I can still write myself a ticket for not wearing pants. Pony, do you have any idea why I'm standing here in my undershorts? Is it because you're very proud of them? I can't say I blame you. How, how am I supposed to code when my digits are all frozen? Pony. Uh, whoops. It's okay. We can fix this. Hit undo, control Z. Pony, it doesn't work like that. Um, sorry, everyone. Um, your clothes are right here. Yeah, um, help yourselves. And... We'll help you, too. Uh, let me fetch your hat, Ranger Silas. And the scarf and leg warmers are definitely Misty's. Thanks, Pony. Uh, uh. Silas, I think those neatly creased pants are also yours. You really do keep a very sharp crease. Look, Mom. I found my coat. I'm proud of you, son. Great work, dog. Everyone's got their clothes back, including us. Ah, warm digits. Thanks, dog and pony. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Nothing we'd like to do again, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, guys, my leg warmers feel a little tickly. Tickly? How do you mean? I mean, like that. <gasps> I'm not. Oh, how unusual. Dog, pony? Uh, yes, uh, Ranger Silas? What is the meaning of this? Well, I'm not sure. But green is definitely your color. <laughs> pony, I think your magic is making everyone's clothes sprout leaves. Oh, that's not possible. Whoa! Talk about a green thumb! Maybe it's a little possible. Dog, Pony, we've heard of turning over a new leaf, but this is ridiculous. Well, at least we were spared. Oh, my. Dog, do something! I don't know what to do. Everyone's covered in leaves! <laughs> well, I don't think you guys should worry. In fact, I don't think any of us should worry. Huh? Why not? What do you mean? Because it's fall. Ooh! Fall? What's fall? Fall is a season. The season when all the leaves, well, fall. You lost me. I'll explain. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Every year, we have them all. Really? That is fascinating. Tell more. Winter's beauty blows cold and stark. 
the nights are long and gray days dark. Spring drifts in to melt the ice. Buds burst green and the world smells nice. Summer brings more sun each day. Humidity, mosquitoes, and time to play. Then comes fall, yellow, red, and brown, to gild the leaves, then bring them down. Let me get this straight. Fall is when you like to sit outside on the stairs to knit. That way, when it comes to winter, your neck has something to slip into. <laughs> exactly. You guys are good. Thank, Thank you. you. But I'm just going to write winter, spring, summer, fall. Saves ink. So we don't need to worry about the little tree getting cold? That's right. Losing their leaves is just something the trees do every fall. Do you think our leaves might just fall off too? And mine? And mine? And ours? And my mom's? And my son's? I think so. Everyone, just be the tree. And let's see what happens. It's working! Fall is making our leaves fall! Naturally! Uh, a little help, dog? <laughs> sure, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. That's what I'm here for. Fall. <laughs> what a season. You said it, dog. <laughs> but I don't think being trees is our thing. Do you? <laughs> No, let's me and you try something new every single day.